when Mary and I think about Lamar and Rita, first of all, we think about them as a team, husband and wife team. We see them together often. And I think of the words that come to mind for me is that of St. Augustine that said, work like it all depends on you and pray like it all depends on God. Because in observing Lamar and Rita, I see that. They inspire Mary and I and our family. Generosity is contagious. When I think about Lamar and Rita and their generosity, they go about it very humbly. I think seeing what they do as being a, a blessing for others. And I think that uh, just their witness kind of inspires others to get involved as well. I would like to congratulate Lamar and Rita Hunt on winning the Angels Among Us Award this year. I can't imagine a more deserving couple for all the work and support you have given to the mission of Catholic education here in the Archdiocese. Congratulations. Well, I'd like to congratulate Rita and Lamar for being recognized by CEF as Angels Among Us. I can't think of a more worthy couple to have this honor bestowed upon than you two, and I'm thrilled that you two are being recognized in this way. Congratulations, Lamar and Rita Hunt, for being honored as this year's Gaudiamus Angels Among Us. As a former board chair and Angels Among Us honoree myself, my husband Glenn and I have been able to see in our schools the impact that the generosity of Rita and Lamar has made on generations of families, students, and schools, and even our entire community, and we're all very grateful. Thank you, Rita and Lamar, for your great work with Catholic education. As we both know, both our families are committed to such. We can't think of a better way to evangelize our Catholic faith than through education. What you're doing and what you have done is of tremendous value to everybody in the community. And I want to particularly thank you on behalf of Millie and I uh, for all the work that you've done. We don't enter into giving gifts or giving support or time, ta talent, and treasure with the idea of, of getting some sort of like recognition. And, and, and nor should any of us do that, do it that way. We do it because we believe from our heart how important Catholic education is. Education in general, of course, but Catholic education specifically is just so important, especially now, I think, for our culture. I would say that Lamar and Rita in the good work of Catholic education see a way being paved for kids' future and, and a bright future for them because not only do they receive great education, but they're formed in the faith. And if we could go back to the founding fathers of Catholic education, Bishop John Carroll was one of them, and he used to say that through good education, you form the leaders of America, but through the faith formation, you also form the future soul of America. We believe that we do that in Catholic schools. This is the way these children can do better than our parents. That's what all of us want. All of us as parents want our children to do better than us. And Catholic education is a perfect way to do this. It's, it's challenging. It might be harder than going to a public school, but it makes, it changes your soul. It changes the community.